This is the story of the magical events that happen when you do not listen to Ava. Starring Ava? Ava will be playing... Griffin. She will also be playing Hallie. Also Dexter. And Random Mousy. I will be playing... Vady, Memo Shirley, Random Dude from Grayson, Magical Glitz Bunny, Magical Flying Bunny, Daddy. Phoebe. One afternoon, Stacy and Serena were having a chat. Oh my gosh, you know my boss, she's so mean. Oh, I know, right? I can't believe she didn't let you have the day off yesterday so we could spend the day together talking about the exact same thing we are now. I know, right? Where's Baby? Oh, there she is. Um, Mom? Mom? <laughs> Mom! Mom? Mom? Mom! What? Will you play with me? No, I am talking about very serious business with your aunt. Since Ava's mother wouldn't play with her, she decided to ask her Aunt Stacy. <laughs> aunt Stacy? Yeah? What do you want? Will you play with me? No, I gotta go to the bathroom. Come on, Vady. You can sit on my lap while I poop on the toilet. <laughs> ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> that ruff, 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 ruff. Ava became sad. Nobody wanted to play with her. Perhaps her older cousin Hallie would want to play with her. Hey, uh, Hallie? Hallie? Hallie! Hallie, you wanna play? You wanna play? Hey, Hallie, Hallie! What? You wanna play? No, I'm busy on the computer. On the computer? How could you be busy on there? You don't even work. You just play games. <laughs> Nobody wants to play. I wonder what Ava wanted to play. Still one person left I can play with. Maybe Uncle Xavier will want to play. Meanwhile, Uncle Xavier was trying to pet Griffin. Griffin, let me pet you, Griffin. No, stop going around in circles. What are you doing? Oh, fine. You will get my cereal milk. However, Griffin really wanted to get pet, so he went over to Uncle Xavier in a hurry. Oh, that's a good boy. However, a disruption was going on. Dexter would not stop barking. He was angry because there was so much freedom going on outside. Lily and Poopy and Phoebe got to play outside, and he didn't. How unfair was that? He was stuck inside of the gate. Xavier got really mad. Dexter! Get in here! Oh, I love you so much, Dexter. I love you so much. You're so cute! With all this commotion going on, Ava wasn't sure if Uncle Xavier was, was wanting to play. Uncle Xavier, do you want to play? Oh, sorry, I'm too busy trying to pet Griff and keep Dexter quiet. It's a lot of work. Nobody wanted to play with her. But, however, Uncle Xavier didn't wonder what Ava was going to play. I decided I'm going to run away. Nobody wants to play with me. I'll play my own game. Ava's 
started to go outside, she heard Uncle Xavier yelling. Lily! <coughs> he had just found his favorite jacket ripped up by the one and only Lily, the terrorizer. Deciding this was the best time to escape without notice, she quickly hurried out of the house to go play fetch with Phoebe. It's such a beautiful necklace. Well, since no one is here to claim it, I think I might take it. So Ava put on the necklace. She looked absolutely stunning in the necklace. She didn't want to take it off. And suddenly, something strange happened. The house was gone. Everybody was gone. Ava was in the middle of nowhere. Or so she thought. Suddenly, out of nowhere appeared a magical bunny. La 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 la, I'm the magical glitz bunny. Look at my glitter. Uh, excuse me? Glitz bunny? Yeah, the sparkles and the glitter. Uh, okay. Why am I here? Where's the house? I want my mom. I want someone to play. I'll play with you. I was not so sure about this. She didn't know what she was going to do. But she realized someone was willing to play with her. This necklace, it had brought magical things. But were they magical? Or were they just bad luck? Agreed to play with the bunny. Alright then, let's go down the magical runway. Um, magical runway? Yeah, that one. But, it's just carpet. No, it's a magical runway! But first, you have to put this scarf. What? I'm wearing a scarf! How did you get... But the magical bunny was gone. She silently walked down the runway where the bunny said it was. She walked straight. And suddenly, she was blown backwards. Ah! Ava woke up in a strange, mysterious place. She was locked inside of a box. Nobody listened to her. Nobody wanted to play with her. But she was playing her own game. She just needed to figure out Suddenly, someone appeared out of the shadows. Where am I? What is this? Ava, this is your game. You have taken the magical necklace, and you can't take it off until you've beat the game. What? Uh, it won't let me take it off! It won't come off until you beat the game. Oh, well, boom, boom, boom. All the walls came crashing down. How dare you call my land smelly? It really smells bad. Have you smelled it? Like, like sniff the air right now. Don't tell me that's not smelly. I am the queen. Well, since you're the queen and all, tell me how to get out of here! I'm afraid I can't. <coughs> but, you have to pass the three levels of waking up. What? Waking up? Is this a dream? Do you think it's a dream? Well, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just tell me! <laughs> Ava suddenly fell into a deep sleep. Then she woke up and forgot all about what the queen had said. Ooh, that was a strange dream. <laughs> huh? Who are you? I am you from the dark side. See the blood all over my face? It's not blood, it's jelly! What? What? 
No! The nightmare crumbled into that. Again, Ava fell into a deep sleep. She woke up with a start. And there was the Glitz Bunny's twin. Um... Are you, do you talk, or are you just gonna... You're keeping me out. My strange blue eyes can hypnotize you. Right now, you are going to fall into a deep sleep. I'm still awake. Right now, you will stay white completely. Did you just put a wall behind you or something? Because that wasn't there before. I, I seriously, did you see that? I didn't see that wall over there before. I'm getting a little worried here. Like, I'm in jail. How could you possibly find me out? Because I can. I'm Ava, and if someone would listen to me, they'd see how awesome I am. Then Ava fell into a deep sleep. When she woke up, she looked around. Nothing? Suddenly, there was a small squeak behind her. Squeak! It was Ava's biggest fear. A mouse. Hi, hey, I'm Bowser! Ah! It's a mouse! What do I do? Wait a minute! I'm... Mm, that was a tasty treat. <clears throat> I feel like sleeping. And Ava woke up in her bed. It was, it was all a dream. I have to go tell my mom. Mom, mom, <coughs> mom. There was this magical land, and I had a necklace and everything. Look at my magical necklace. What necklace? It's gone. The necklace. I think you just had a dream. Ava, I'm busy on my phone. But, but I... <sighs> Nobody listens to me! She gone on a magical adventure. She gone on a magical adventure and nobody said anything about it. Had it really happened? No. It couldn't have, could it? Maybe there's no necklace after all. But all the magical creatures truly believed in Ava. And one day, people will listen to Ava and realize she is amazing at going on adventures. <laughs>